Welcome to our exciting new training devoted to hyperconverged infrastructure. If you're a novice service provider or cloud reseller and have never heard about hyperconverged infrastructure, don't worry. This video is exactly right for you. We'll start with simple concepts and gradually proceed to more complex and sophisticated topic. So let's get started. IT infrastructure refers to the composite hardware, software, network resources, and services required for the existence, operation, and management of IT environments of a managed service provider. It allows managed service providers to deliver IT solutions and services to their partners and end customers. Typically, a standard IT infrastructure consists of the following components. Hardware, servers, workstations, data centers, and other equipment. Software, enterprise resource planning systems, customer relationship management systems, and productivity applications, and so on. Network, internet connectivity, switches, routers, firewalls, and security. Human resources, developers and network and system administrators who manage hardware, software and network components of the IT infrastructure. Many service providers are still using so-called best-of-breed approach. It means they pick and choose the most suitable solutions for their servers, compute, data storage, network, and server virtualization. Each solution might come from a different vendor and have its own separate management tools. Even if the components do come from the same vendor, they might still be controlled by different management software. An overall infrastructure management solution might be placed on top with some degree of integration between the management tools for storage, compute, and so on. This traditional approach to IT infrastructure has both advantages and drawbacks. It can provide a high degree of flexibility and customization, but at a cost. Moreover, there are direct costs for all the specialized hardware and software elements. Finally, administrative costs can also be high, given the fact that many separate elements have to be managed all at once. Those limitations of traditional IT infrastructure are addressed by the converged and hyperconverged infrastructures. The most common approach to building the converged infrastructure is the building block approach. It implies that there is a fully configured system that includes servers, storage, networking, and virtualization software. This fully configured system represents a single building block, which can be installed on a server rack. It can be easily expanded by adding additional building blocks. However, each component in such a fully configured system is still a discrete component and can be used for its intended purpose. The server can be separated and used as a server, just as the storage can be separated and used as functional storage. There are two main limitations of the converged infrastructure. First, the components such as servers, storage, networking, and virtualization usually come from different vendors. As a result, if some components go down and have some compatibility issues, it's hardly possible to resolve those issues quickly, since there is no single point of support. Second, the individual components comprising the fully configured system are designed and configured for specific purposes. As a result, it's hardly possible to scale out or scale up such kind of a system. The hyperconverged infrastructure resembles the converged infrastructure, but takes the convergence a step further. In particular, the hyperconverged infrastructure is software defined. It means that the compute, storage, and network are abstracted away from the physical hardware. As a result, it is possible to add nodes, systems, virtual machines, storage, and other components without having any awareness of the underlying physical hardware. In contrast to the converged infrastructure, the hyperconverged infrastructure implies that all the individual components come from the same vendor. Thus, if some hardware components go down or software components need to be updated to address security threats, it is easy to resolve those issues quickly, since there is one single point of support. Moreover, it is easy to scale out or scale up such kind of a system. A Kronos Cyber Infrastructure represents a new generation of hyperconverged infrastructure targeted both managed service providers and end customers. It is a scale out, cost efficient, and multi purpose cyber protection solution that combines universal storage and high performance virtualization. It provides a trusted solution that's been optimized to work with the Acronis Cyber Cloud suite of products. In fact, the Acronis Cyber Infrastructure exists in two forms for your convenience. If you're a service provider who would like to use a complete solution from a single vendor, you can get the Acronis Cyber Infrastructure as an appliance. 
This Sacronis Cyber Infrastructure Appliance represents a plug-and-play box containing all the required pre-configured hardware and pre-installed software components that you can easily deploy in your data center. In turn, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure as a software works on industry standard hardware. Thus, you can leverage your existing IT infrastructure, install Acronis Cyber Infrastructure on your hardware, and get all the hyperconverged benefits from Acronis. Deployed at Acronis data centers worldwide, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure stores more than 200 petabytes of data that's been backed up for more than 125,000 servers, PCs, and mobile devices. What makes it such an efficient and secure solution? First, it's highly reliable. The Acronis Cyber Infrastructure protects against component failures and data corruption with hot, warm, and cold data using the patented technology called Acronis Cloud RAID. Moreover, it eliminates service downtime while rolling out upgrades for system software. Second, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure is highly efficient. It provides an attractive price point and flexible licensing to accommodate each customer's specific business requirements. Moreover, it works with industry standard hardware to further lower costs. Third, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure is universal. It combines virtualization, software-defined network, block, file, and object storage in a scalable solution that can be run even on one cluster. Fourth, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure is easy to use. Moreover, it is characterized by low maintenance efforts so that even small service providers with limited human resources can easily manage hundreds of customers. Fifth, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure has great performance, including unprecedented scale-up and scale-out capabilities. You can add dozens of new servers, virtual machines, storages, CPUs, or network components in just a few clicks. Finally, Acronis Cyber Infrastructure is a real disruptive innovation in terms of cyber protection. It is based on a number of patented technologies such as blockchain-based data verification, artificial intelligence-based anti-ransomware protection, on-the-fly security hotfixing without rebooting the corresponding operating system, or hypervisor, and much, much more. It should be noted that Acronis Cyber Infrastructure is tightly integrated with many Acronis products, such as Acronis Backup Cloud, Acronis Backup, Acronis Disaster Recovery Cloud, Acronis Files Cloud, and Acronis Notary Cloud. It allows minimizing the number of technologies a managed service provider needs in their data centers. Moreover, a managed service provider can get additional performance improvements and better bandwidth utilization. Are you excited about the capabilities of the Acronis Cyber Infrastructure? You have an opportunity to try our easy, efficient, and secure cyber protection solution right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and download a trial version of the Acronis Cyber Infrastructure. Please note that the trial version is actually a full-fledged version with all functionality and no time constraints. The only limitation is you only get one terabyte of your storage capacity for storing your data of your customers. Well, have fun!